So, ladies and gentlemen, we went ahead and got ourselves a ton of new cards. Well, not a ton, but a handful of new cards. Made some rearrangements just to, you know, have some fun with the game and try some different things. So, first and foremost, as you guys can see, what you can obviously see, first and foremost, is that we got Kelsey. We got uh, Jason Kelsey, who is um, looks incredible. Fully maxed out. I believe this car will have 99 impact blocking, but there's just no way for me to do that right now with um, the guys I have. But I got rid of my center, and I got Kelsey. I got rid of my right guard, and I also got the uh, limited Will Shields as well. And this car just looks unbelievable. He's just slow. He just doesn't have terrific speed. But, you know, outside of that, uh, you know, I don't have him, you know, to run routes or do anything like that. Uh He's a little slow, but, you know, 62 is hopefully uh, doable with uh, the way we run our offense. But other than that, I mean, his run blocking, impact blocking, pass blocking, everything is really, 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 really good. Um, that's it for the offensive line. I went ahead and picked up this Vernon Davis as well. This car just looks really, really good. Has amazing run blocking and just flat out has absolutely amazing attributes for how it is I'm going to use them which is, uh, you know, in my pistol trips, along with Delaney Walker and Brandon Marshall. Uh, that gives me three really, really, really good uh, receiving options, as well as guys that can block. And this car just has great run blocking, terrific speed at 92. Uh, just hopefully he can hold on to some passes because we know his catching isn't the greatest. But we got him as well. And Delaney Walker, I have at punt return. That way he can still be on my team and I can just manually add him in whatever. Same way as Donald Penn. Um, receivers, want to go ahead and try a few different players because you see we got Chris Johnson, and I wanted to max him out. I had, if I was going to go get this card, I had to go all out. I wasn't just going to get this card and not fully max him out, and that's exactly what it is we did. We went for the big shebang, the, the big shebang and uh, we went to completely max this card out, and maxed out, this is attributes, 99 acceleration, 97 speed, 97 elusiveness, 97 juking, 94 agility, ball carry vision, 94. Uh, just hoping he can do well <laughs> is, is what we're going to hope for. Um, DeMarco Murray has been unbelievably fantastic. I sold Marcus Allen, even though I think Marcus Allen so far has been the number one running back I've been able to use all year if he's fully maxed out. But um, DeMarco is going to go down to my number two back and... Uh, my number three back will rarely see the field, which in this case is still LaShawn McCoy, who I just put in every once in a while to pass the ball out of the backfield. But other than that, he never sees the field. I mainly just use a two-personnel uh, backfield. So uh, we decided to keep DeMarco Murray, and we got this Chris Johnson. And I'm just really hoping that this speed makes a difference. You know, he's probably going to have a tough time of running by people because, uh, you know, juking has been extremely disgusting this year. Like, really, really, really bad. <laughs> but, again, I'm just hoping that that speed can really make a difference for us. And he can hit, uh, get to the outside and just do phenomenal things with that 97 speed, 99 acceleration. Now, in order to max him out, I needed ankle breaker and route running. So, we went with Mariota just so I can get that uh, speed chemistry. You see, that's times three speed chemistry. And so does Chris Johnson. And that left me too short. And you'll see in a bit who I got to uh, finish that out. But um, this Mariota maxed out with the speed. Doesn't give him any plus on his overall. Uh, it does give him plus two speed in elusiveness and a throw on the run. But other than that, you know, nothing nothing really good. He doesn't have really anything to help his passing out. Unless you uh, max out Tennessee, which is going to give him uh, nothing. Okay, that's all running. So... Uh, but he has 93 speed, uh, and I'm sure his throwing is just going to be just as good as anybody else. McNair was very good for me. McNair pretty much made every throw just as good as any other quarterback I've used that's over 95 overall. They all make really good throws. They rarely miss a throw, and I'm thinking that this may still be the same case. Now, his throw power isn't the best. It's extremely low, but uh, again, just trying things out, man, trying to get some new cars, trying to... You know, have fun and see what it is we can do with, uh, you know, Mariota and Chris Johnson. So, in order to help me with the route running, Kim, we went with Stefan Diggs, the positional hero 
Card looked really good. 92 speed. Fully maxed out with both slot expert and route running. He has a 99 overall. And this car, it just looked fantastic. I just needed somebody with times two route running. And the car just looked like it had a lot of potential maxed out. We're talking about 98 route running with 92 speed, 96 catching, 92 catching traffic. The car just looks really good. And uh, so I sold Julio Jones. Wasn't really fond of the Julio Jones. Yeah, he made plays for me, but there were a ton of times where he just came up short in big opportunities for me. So I had no problem getting rid of him. We also uh, sold our OBJ. And to max out the speed cam, we went with this Fuller, who with plus two speed has 96 speed. 96. That is very, 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 very fast. Like, that is a ton of speed that I'm definitely going to try and take advantage of. Uh, and, uh, you know, he doesn't have the best attributes to take a look at his release, his spec catch, his catching. Uh, everything isn't the greatest, but he's fast. So I can hopefully just put this car on a drag route, something short, intermediate. You know, don't uh, allow him to run routes too long and uh, just take advantage of his speed. Um, I did buy this Hayward Bay uh, and made a mistake thinking he had the times two speed um, 40 chem, which uh, he indeed did not. So I... Um, I uh, needed another one. And I was like, oh, dang it. Let me go on ahead and just get um, the fuller. What time? So I was like, you know, I'm going to keep Bay anyways. 96 speed. Again, really, really, really fast. And these guys are just really, really, really quick. So, I mean, between Fuller, Hayward, Bay, both of those guys are really, really fast. And I mean really, really fast. So I should definitely go ahead and put one of these guys at my kick return. Not really sure who, but uh, one of them will be returning kicks for me. On the defensive side of things, everything stays the same except for a few things. I, I benched Talvin Smith. He was fun having him. He's extremely fast, but Haley is still the, the better player um, easily, especially in a 3-4 defense. Uh, Haley just brings more to the table, better run defense, better block shedding. But I will keep Smith uh, because he is very fast, and uh, he'll be a good user for me uh, in certain situations. And uh, um, I will also go on ahead and... Um, uh, put him in zoning situations. Uh, I went back with J.J. Watt. Youngblood did absolutely nothing for me. Absolutely nothing. The small time that I went back with J.J. Watt before I went to Youngblood, he was actually showing me some type of skills, man. So we went back with J.J. and Because uh, Youngblood did absolutely nothing. Um, I decided to go with Don Tari Poe. I sold in Damakan Su. This Poe just looked amazing. I mean, 97 block shed. And that's all I really need for my D-tackle. Strength and block shed. So... Uh, he should definitely be an anchor there. You got him with Vince Wilfork there, and both of these guys combined um, should just do a lot of damage and just making it difficult for any runs up the middle when I'm in my 4-4, and that's all I need. All I need is for you to have trouble running up the middle. Do your job. Be an anchor. Just block shed. You know, disrupt passes um, by flushing the quarterback outside the pocket, by, you know, getting a block shed and getting to the quarterback. And I know you're going to be slow. But, again, I don't, you know, look for my D-tackles to have speed. I just need strength and block shed. Um, and then we got Brian Dawkins. He's fully maxed out as well. This car is very expensive, but it looked amazing. Um, it definitely looked better than, um, than what's his name? Harris, Harrison Smith. Uh, and he had tip drill, which I love. Like, this tip drill chemistry is one of the best chemistries I've been able to use all year. Eric Berry was a freaking monster at catching any deflections. Like, it, it doesn't matter. If the ball is tipped and it was anywhere near Eric Berry, it was, it was like a suction towards his hands. And I'm hoping that this tip drill could be just as glitchy as it was for Berry <laughs> because it was amazing. Big hitter tier two maxed out. And uh, field general one is not. I thought I had. Okay, he's not fully maxed. Oh, I def that's more important than big hitter because that gives him another speed and gives him 95 speed. So we got to figure out a way to give him to get field general. Uh... Hmm. <laughs> How can we do this? I'll probably have to get rid of Hicks. Because now that I, I will use her Telvin now, I don't really need Hicks there because I'll just use her Telvin and leave Nishki on his own. Um, and I got Line Pusher so I can max out. Um, and I have a Field General there. So I have, um, what should we call it? What was I going to say? I forgot. Um, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> there, there needs to be a field general coach. I mean, a stadium or something. 
There's a pick specialist, but that doesn't help me out. Uh, I got yeah, I got line pusher to max out both Cameron Jordan and Vince Wilfork, both those guys on the D line. You know, giving them that plus whatever the hell it does. Definitely need that block shedding and getting to the quarterback and breaking away from you know blocks is definitely important. So we need to figure out a way to get one more field general. Hmm, because I have him and I also have Nishki as well. So that will be plus one speed to Nishki and uh, and Dawkins. See, this is what sucks about the Ultimate Legends. They don't have times two on anything, which will be very, very, very beneficiary. And I don't think I have any cornerbacks with field general that I can just plug in. I don't know. I'll figure something out. But uh, Brian Dawkins, excluding field general maxed out, <laughs> still, I mean, he's going to have... Uh, you're going to tack on another Pursuit, Speed, and Play Rec. So his Pursuit's going to be 99. His Play Rec is going to be 96. His Speed is going to be 95. His Tackling is going to be uh, 89. Um, 96 Zone Coverage. It just looks flat out amazing. The card just looks godlike. And I had to go ahead and pick this card up. So in order for me to do so, I had to sell a lot of things. Because I opened up a bundle earlier. And I didn't even stream. I got absolutely nothing. I was so disgusted with spending $200 and getting 2K gold cards. I cut the stream after like an hour, and I didn't even want to deal with it. It was it was, it was was terrible. Um, but we made the necessary moves. We got the team that uh, we can't wait to go ahead and play some games with. Hopefully, you guys are looking forward to that. It's your boy GS, and we are going to go ahead and be signing out. Peace!